So two variants around right now. How worried are you about them? Well, they're, um, they're more vaccine evasive and more immune evasive. So if you've had a previous infection or you've had vaccines, you are more likely to catch it. So we're all vulnerable again, unfortunately. This is a virus that's increasingly perplexing immunologists where they were ex not expecting this. This is, they were expecting that you, as you got more and more infections or more and more vaccinations, we'd be more and more resistant to this virus. And it turns out that when a new one comes along, uh, we, are, we are vulnerable again. Now, the vaccines are still pretty effective against severe infection and death, but what they're not protecting us against and haven't for some time <clears throat> is infection in the first place. Mm. And we, the virus has had a new variant every six months or so, and the last time we spoke, we predicted that BA4 and 5, even though they're subvariants of Omicron, would behave as though they are a new variant, and that's exactly what's happening. This is not seasonal. It's not very much to do with winter. It's, much, it's happening all over the world. It's much more to do with the virus. And, and immunologists are getting more and more perplexed about how this virus is operating. And more and more people are getting COVID for a second time. Now, what do we know about the impact that's having on us? Well, the, uh, the reinfection, as it turns out, and, I, and I'm covering this on tonight's health report, increases your chances of getting a longer term complication like myocarditis, like inflammation of the heart, or problems with the lungs or problems with the clotting system. So each time you get it, the risks accumulate. And so it might be 2% the first time, but it goes up to 4%, you know, cumulatively 4% or 5% the next time. Uh, a study, and that's been shown of a study of 5 million people in the United States, a study of young athletes in the United States has shown that two, over 2% 2 of them have inflammation of the heart and don't know it after COVID. And that's not been prevent, prevented by the vaccine. Uh, the vaccine's preventing you getting severe disease initially and going to hospital and dying. Mm. That's why you need to get it. Mm. But these longer co term complications are not fully understood and the vaccine is not necessarily protecting against it. And that's where masks and ventilation come in. So you think the masks should be reintroduced as compulsory? Well, politicians are, are, are really holding back on mask mandates. But they're also holding back on changing regulations about ventilation. Um, so they're worried about the economic effect of shutting down bars and restaurants rather than necessarily helping bars and restaurants to have cleaner air in them where there are safer places to go. And also introducing, you know, mandating masks so that we actually slow this down. More on the health report on RN at 5.30 tonight. Norman, thank you. You're welcome.